it's working. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while. Sometimes you just have to take a little break. Anyways, let's talk about weeks one through six of homeschool. So I figured I'd do like six weeks on, one week off, and that's what we started doing. We started on, let's see, I'm trying to think. July 17th, I believe. It was a Monday in July. I think it was the 17th. Um, you know, I didn't even think about like doing road, uh, back to school traditions or taking a first day of school picture. I mean, like, come on. I'm like, what is wrong with me? So we're going to take a picture of him. We did on the first day of school, we did um, his binder which you'll actually see in another video, but his binder, we, um, he has a, he's in kindergarten for those of you who don't know. Um, he has a sheet with our name, his name, our address, phone number on it and that he has to trace and work on each day. And then I have some letters and numbers that he has to trace. He does one letter, one number a day, and I will go over that in another video. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it is from JDA. I'll try and link her channel below. I know she just stopped doing videos for six months, but the video is still up, so I will try and link that video below if I can. Um, then we did work out of a phonics book, and that that went really well. Or, you know, it went pretty well. He had a hard time focusing on it, but that's okay. And once we got done with one page, obviously we made him stop. It wasn't anything too hard. I think it was a dollar. It was a dollar book from Target. And so nothing too terribly hard. Um, and then we sang some songs. We started out, I should have shown this first, but Every day he writes in his journal. This is his journal. And I might show that in another video. I'm gonna ask him if that's okay with him if I show it in a, in a video. Um, but he, since he's still learning how to read and write correctly, I let him draw. And then if he wants to tell us something and we can write it in here, but I let him draw on it. Just draw one picture each day. Whew. Sorry, it's late, kinda late, I'm tired. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we start out with a prayer and then we work on, we are LDS and we have the Articles of Faith, so we work on the Articles of Faith. And the first week went pretty well. We try and do four days a week. We have a co-op that we go to twice a month that meets on Fridays, every other Friday. So, um, but that hasn't started up yet. So as long as we get four days a weekend, that's great. Like, I'm okay I'm okay with doing four days a week. That's actually what I want to do. But if we get five in, that's great as well. Um, we worked on handwriting out of where's my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? This is the book we use for handwriting. We're only using this book for a little bit. It doesn't have very many pages in it. Um, just to kind of start them out, tracing it. And then we have another book, which I showed in my curriculum video. Um, and that day, I don't think we did any actual sit down math. The first day we didn't, we had to go to an appointment. So we did do, an, we did do math because we did talk about it, but we didn't like write or use any manipulatives. Um, the first week went pretty well. He loves to do school. I started him on this alphabet notebook. I should have done a bigger notebook, but oh well. Um, we have the first page. This is from JDA as well. And she, I will, link this video below as well if I can find it. 
Um, I got it off of Teachers, Paid Teachers, and I don't have the link to that right now. Um, I'll try and get those and put them in the description box when I get them. But so we started the alphabet notebook, and it's more for preschool, but I want him to have something fun to do, and he, he actually had a lot of fun. He thought it was so cool to do it. So that's kind of how our first day went, our first week, you know, basically. Reading, writing, and arithmetic is what I want to enforce. Um, and then we do do science and history, but those are through a lot of like read alouds and just him asking questions and things like that at this age. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go all out on a curriculum. He can ask questions and whatnot. And sorry, I keep moving in a lot. And um, yeah. Um, we've done a lot of read alouds. Um, there was one week where we only did three days of school, I think. Let's be honest. My 18 month old got hand, foot, and mouth, and then my son got scarlet fever. So, um, yeah, we had to take a break then because that wasn't fair to him to make him sick, make him do school when he was sick. But what we did do when he was sick was watch a lot of educational Super Y, Magic School Bus, Clifford. Clifford's not really educational, but hey, he wanted to watch it. Um, we also use ABC Mouse sometimes. And so we do school, and I try to only do about 10 to 15 minutes on each subject. That's just, I feel like that's all about, about all he can handle. Um, with reading... We do a mix. We use our reading book, which is this is our reading book. It's the easy peasy reading book. Um, we use this book sometimes. We use the flashcards, which are exactly like this book. Whew. Oh man, I am so sorry guys. I should have slept before this video. <laughs> we use the flashcard things that they have online where you can, and it just pops up on the screen, says the word, and you know, it reads the word. If you know what the word is, you say it. And if you don't, you click on it and it tells you. And then we started building with magnetic letters um, on the refrigerator, and he loves to do that. I'm just trying to make it fun because that's just what school should be. And so that's how reading is. And I, like I said, I try to only do 10 to 15 minutes each day. We also got Meet the Sight Words. I don't know how I never heard about these until recently. But I got the 10 DVD set because that was the best value on Amazon. And I can totally use these with my 18-month-old and 3-month-old as they grow up, as they, you know, start to learn. I can totally use these with, him, with them. Because there's letters, shapes, numbers, and yes, my son knows all those. But there's also, um, there's also, oh, what is it called? Sight words and phonics. So he can use those right now if, you know, and I only let him do about 20 minutes of it, of TV time. Um... Yeah, and then for math, I got these learning resources pattern blocks, I believe. I thought I was ordering the wooden ones because the wooden ones were on sale, but I didn't pay attention to it, I guess, enough to... They're plastic. But you know what? I think I like these better. I can... I feel like I can submerge them in water if my 18-month-old slobbers on one, if he happens to get a hold of them, but we try and really keep them away from him. But I feel like I can. these ones are going to be easier to clean. And so we use these for math a lot. Hands on. My son seems to like it. Um, yeah. Oops. So that's kind of how our first six weeks of school went. We, I did plan to just go six on, one off. The Sabbath schedule, the six in one, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what I planned to do. But I feel like we're on a good groove and he's not complaining and I'm not feeling super burnt out. So we're just going to go with it and then take a break when we need. And that's totally fine with me because that's the beauty of homeschool. Anyways, 
Um, I've done some stuff with my 18 month old, even though he's not really in school, but I do like little shapes with him and things like that to keep him occupied while my son is doing his independent work, which I forgot to mention, that his binder is completely independent. He can do that all by himself. I put a paper clip on the page I want him to do and he can do that all by himself. Now, that's just what I do that works for us right now. Whew. If you have another system of, or way to like set it up so your child knows exactly what page to do each day, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have not already, please hit the red subscribe button and please like and share this video and I will talk to you in my next video.